Hey everybody, so in the process of doing these uh, cheap Amazon brush videos, um, I had a few people ask me like, okay, so what's your favorite out of those? And I realized I hadn't done my favorite. Um, I was typically reviewing ones that I hadn't used yet just to see what was good and what wasn't. Um, my favorite all time is the CADS brush. That's this one right here. So I figured, let me go ahead and show you guys why. Um, this one is a size 12. I think I got it for $13 and I think the size eight is like 10. So incrementally as they go up in size, they don't go up in price very much. Um, this is my absolute favorite. This is the one I will order every time when I send to someone, when I want them to try, you know, or when someone asks what's one that, you know, isn't $50, $50 for a decent quality, this is that brush. I've had probably 10 of them. I send them as gifts to people, like they're my favorite. And let me show you why. This is the size 12. You guys can see, let me show you one of my other size 12 so you can see what I'm, uh, the size difference. Uh, let's see. So this is the model one size 12. Now, lengthwise, they're not much different, but this brush is obese. Like it's very, very fat, lots of bristles, holds a lot of monomer. It's got a really nice wooden handle. It's not pinched, but like I said, I prefer a round brush, so that's on me. You can get them crimped, or you can crimp them yourself. It's not that hard. Uh, just make sure you do it while it's wet. Now, this one did come with a lot of starch in it, so you wanna make sure you clean it out really good because if you leave any starch in here, when you go to lay acrylic with it, every little piece of starch is gonna grab onto that acrylic and hold it inside the brush. You're gonna have a very hard time cleaning it out. So you wanna make sure that you get every bit of starch out of it. I like to use these little spoolies that they sell at the dollar store and just lightly comb it out and break up that starch. Um, these ones come with a crap ton of starch. It almost looks like it has dried acrylic in it when you get it, but eh, whatever. And it is absolutely 100% stable, this one, no questions. Actually, I, they've improved them since the last time I bought one. Uh, they weren't this thick. Um, the quality is better, much better than the last time I got one about two months ago. Okay, like I said, you wanna take a spoolie or you can use like a wooden cuticle stick to flick that out or just your fingernail, just flick it back and forth and you'll see these little white flecks of starch come out. You don't wanna to be too rough on it because you don't wanna split the hairs or you know, mess it up too much. This one, however, is so fat that they do spread immediately. But like you can see the little chunks of, of starch in it. So you wanna make sure you get it all out. And you wanna make sure that you're getting down here at the bottom as well, because it likes to sit down there, which is why I use these and just kind of comb it from the bottom. That breaks it all up really well. Then what you're gonna do is rinse it in monomer, but you guys, you guys know how to clean your brushes by now. So you're just gonna keep wiping it until all of that residue is out. And this one actually takes a really, I, I haven't trained this one, so we're gonna use it without training it, but it actually takes a really nice shape just right off the bat. And it is very thick. So burp the brush, get all that starch out of there. I'm a little rough on my brushes, but these ones seem to hold up to it really well. Like I said, these are my favorites, hands down. And you can tell from the feel that they're sable. It is absolutely 100% sable. You can, uh, oh, I broke it. Oops. <laughs> so Kalinsky and sable are two different things. Kalinsky is the style of hair. Sable is the animal it comes from because it is fur. So just because it says Kalinsky doesn't mean that it's sable. The best kind of brush for acrylic is absolutely sable. That's what you want. It doesn't hold acrylic. It soaks up the monomer because it's fur. So, you know, it holds the liquid in or it soaks up liquid. You want to make sure it says 100% sable. 100% sable, not just sable. Because a lot of times, like the Model 1's brush, it'll come with some sable mixed with nylon, which is still usable. It just won't last you as long because the nylon hairs don't do as well with uh, acetone and they break down in the monomer over time. So I'm going to use this glam and glitz here that I got from Shay. So without training, we have one wild hair on here. That's it. I don't know if you can see that right here. There you go. We have one wild hair without training it at all. That's it. So I can deal with that. 
because that means the training is going to be very, very easy. Now, we're going to go ahead and lay on top so you guys can see how smooth it is. I'm not going to pinch these brushes. Now, I talked about doing a giveaway at 250 and I surpassed that without doing the giveaway, so <laughs> um, I didn't mention what it was going to be. So I am, what I've decided to do is give away one of each of the brushes I've done a video on um, in a different size for each brand. Uh, the CADs I will be doing in a size 12, Model 1's probably size 10, so on and so forth. So. The first person to comment with the name of each brush that I've used will win the brushes. And uh, I'm not going to tell you how many it is. There have been quite a few. So only the ones I've done specific videos on though, not just the ones I've mentioned. So first person to comment with the name, each brand name will win one of each brush. And I will have them sent from Amazon. So care. moving on. So this thing is beating up ferociously <laughs> like that is a that's pretty massive I like that all right now it's it released perfectly almost no acrylic well a little bit but it wipes right off clean super easy now let's lay this down and see how smooth it is this one probably won't be very long because I don't have to explain a bunch of stuff because the brush isn't the brush is really good quality, so there's not much I need to explain. I am going to be doing another rescue video on the brushes, um, just because that one was so long ago, and we've all learned stuff since then, so I like, I like to, when I learn new things, to add that in, because you don't want to leave anything out, right? My hands are super shaky today, so... Don't mind me. My hands are always super shaky. I don't know why I say that every time like it's a new thing. I don't know if you guys know, but I have lupus, so I have some health issues, but my hands are always shaky, like I'm running from bears. So you guys can see how well this is laying down. It's just super smooth every time I go over it. Like, there's no, because there aren't a bunch of wild hairs in it and it's holding the monomer evenly, it's laying it perfectly every time. Even though you saw me messing it up really bad at the beginning of that bead, the brush fixed it. So, you know, if you're still practicing application and you're beginning, this is the brush that you wanna have. You don't wanna spend a $50 brush, you don't wanna spend 50 bucks on a brush when you're first starting out because you're probably gonna trash it. Like that's just, as you learn to take care of your brushes. That's just how it works. You know, I've been through so many brushes I can't even count. I probably could count if I went on my Amazon history, but I'm not going to. So you don't want to spend a ton of money, but you also don't want to get a garbage brush that will make it harder for you to learn. You want to invest in yourself, invest in good quality stuff to practice with, but you know, you don't want to spend so like, you don't want to waste money either. So like I said, this size 12 was like 13 bucks and it, if you trash it, you're not going to cry. Like when I trash my Panna brushes, my honestly, I prefer these over the Pannas. The Pannas split for no reason. I'll be doing the Pannas next, by the way. But the Pannas split after a little while of being wet and it just, they cost so much that that just horrifies me. So I absolutely prefer these. They work as well as the Pannas all day long. So I'm gonna check out my application there. And I am not great at application. Like I'm not, I'm just, me and my file are best friends because I'm not great at it. I don't have a super steady hand. Like I'm okay, but I don't have a super steady hand. So the brush is definitely helpful in application. Except for here where I didn't put another bead like I should have, but anyway, super smooth, super clean. And you can see how well the brush is cleaning. So that's why I use the super bright colors when I do this so you guys can see how much is left over and there's almost no acrylic in it. It's just a great quality brush for the price. I don't know why they sell it so cheap. The wood is real wood. Like, I don't know why they sell it so cheap, but I'm thankful. Like, I love it. I buy them all day. So, like I said, whoever comments this one will win one of each of the brushes. 
And I want to thank you guys for all your support for helping me get this far. Like, things are moving along now, and your guys' support has just been amazing, and I really, really appreciate it. I, I cannot thank you enough. Um, we will be doing our next big giveaway. I've decided to bump it up to 400 subscribers. Also, I will, be, I will still be doing the surprise giveaways probably once a week for the next few weeks just because I have to buy this stuff to do the reviews for. <laughs> so why keep it all, you know? Because I usually buy doubles just in case of each thing, so I'll be giving away stuff that you see me reviewing. Um, so, like I said, if you guys have any questions or comments, I'll include the link to the brush down below. Um, keep your ears pe peeled for the next, uh, the next giveaway. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.